Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to learn how to create parallax effect for multiple slides in PowerPoint, then just keep on watching. So ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the action. So this is how these multiple slides look like. So basically each slide is made out of two slides and I will show you in detail how you can do it yourself. And actually these slides that you see right now, they are absolutely free to download. Link is in the video description. So as always, let's start by opening up a fresh blank new presentation. Let's make layout blank and let's find some beautiful photo that we can use. For example, this cute dog with glasses. He's a smart dog, I guess. So first of all, let's crop these, uh, the, these <laughs> this photo to 16 by 9. So that we can, you know, increase the size of this photo and it nicely covers the whole slide. Just like this. Beautiful. Okay, now let's select the text box and just type in something beautiful like I love. And on the second slide we will type something else. Just wait and see. Okay, so let's make it 150 font size and I'm using really nice font which is called 6 caps. So link is in the video description if you'd like to use the same font. And just to make this text box a little bit more beautiful, I will add a line above the text box and below the text box. So let's make this line white and let's add some thickness to this line so that it stands out a little bit better. A few adjustments. Now I just copy this line and drag it to the, you know, below the text box. Now I select all of these two lines and the text box itself and hit Ctrl G to group it. So now it's one element. Okay, next let's grab a rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle which covers the whole slide. So this will be our next or our second slide. So let's remove the outline and let's drag this rectangle to the bottom of the first slide. Let's grab the eyedropper tool and let's fill this rectangle with this nice dark brown color. And now we can duplicate our text box and move it on, onto the rectangle. Let's make sure that it's nicely centered on the rectangle. And now we can edit the text box and type in the word dogs. So I love dogs. Beautiful. I actually love dogs. By the way, let me know in the comment section below, do you love dogs? Maybe you're a cat person or maybe you're a dog person. Let me know. And now I just group both of these text boxes and the rectangle into one group so that I can add some cool animation to this, uh, to this uh, group. You have to look for the up motion path, select it and apply it to this group. Now you have to play with this red bubble. You want to make sure that when your uh, rectangle moves up, it nicely covers the whole slide. So let's check it out how it looks like. As you can see, there's a little bit of photo at the bottom of the screen. So we have to fix this. Once again, click on the red bubble and make sure that the rectangle you know, moves and nicely covers the whole slide. So not too much upwards and not too much downwards. So it has to be perfectly in the center. Let's check it out once again beautiful okay now let's add animation to the photo itself because we want to have this parallax effect which means that the background has to move as well but at a slower speed 
so we can use the animation painter and you know paste the animation to the dog photo we just have to adjust you know the the red bubble and make sure that you know the photo of the dog doesn't move the full way upwards but just to the half of its uh, length well let me just show it to you how it looks like <laughs> maybe it will be easier and as I mentioned before you can download the these slides yourself and you can check those slides how they were made maybe it will be even more easier for you to you know understand how everything works so feel free to download the slides and now I'll just duplicate this first slide and I will do some you know adjustments to make it you know work on multiple slides so basically I will take this photo with the dog and I will move it you know below the rectangle slide now I will move the rectangle slide you know in the in the window which should be And now all I have to do is I have to make a group of these two text boxes and a rectangle. So it's one group. And I will add, you know, this motion path to this group. Once again, I'm using using animation painter from the, you know, from the first slide. I'm just pasting the animation so I don't have to do it from scratch. And here is important step, I have to move this uh, photo, you know, a little bit upwards. Well, to be precise, half of, the, half of the size of the photo, I have to move it upwards. Just to be precise, I'm using guides. And once again, I just used the animation from the first slide. So I paste the animation of the dog photo and I paste it on the second slide on the same photo. Just make sure that uh, everything starts with previous, which means everything starts automatically. Okay, and now let's check it out from the start how everything looks like. So this is our first slide. Now we continue to the second slide and boom, we have this um, parallax effect for two slides so for the multiple slides awesome and now we can copy these two slides and we can paste them as much as we want and everything should work just perfectly Of course, in the real life situations, I guess you would want to change photos and maybe what would like to change uh, the text boxes. But this is just to show you how this parallax effect for multiple slides could work. And it looks beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope it was not too difficult to follow. As I mentioned before, you can download these slides that you see right now. Link is in the video description and you can check it out yourself. I hope it will be much more easier to understand as well. And as always, I want to say huge thanks to all of my Patreons who support me on Patreon.com. You are the most wonderful people in the world and because of you, I can create videos like this one. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to say huge thanks to all of you, my dear fans who follow me, who subscribe this channel. We will reach soon 50,000 subscribers and I'm so grateful for all of you. So thank you once again and see you on my next video.